for some of the biggest stories in the markets. We welcome in Caroline Woods, senior markets correspondent here on Schwab Network, taking a look at Palantir. Now, Palantir stock is climbing. It's up about 1.5% today. A big contract win, too. Tell us all about it. Yes, and this sticks with your AI theme that you were talking about earlier. Palantir adding to yesterday's gains, now up about uh, call it 8% on the week, only up about 1.5% right now, was up double that earlier today. So already off the highs, but uh, still holding on to some green arrows after getting a, a new contract from the U.S. Army worth upwards of $250 million. And it's to scale artificial intelligence and machine learning capabilities. The contract goes through 2026. It will provide additional capabilities to support the combatant commands, armed services, intelligence community, community and special forces as they test, use, and scale both AI and ML capabilities. Palantir, of course, has partnered with the U.S. Army since 2018. Its president said, maturing new concepts for how we deploy solutions in different contexts is key to maintaining our nation's competitive advantage, and we appreciate the opportunities to support this mission. So Palantir shares, of course, have been riding the AI wave. They're up about 180% year to date, 122% over the past year. But I think context is good. Still only, what, half of what it was trading at in early 2021. And something that I did note with Oliver this morning is that it's actually trading above its median price target right now at 1550, uh, trading at 1789. So it'll be interesting to see if analysts catch up or if right. maybe it could be running out of steam because it's seen pretty impressive gains. So that that's some good news there. I mean, we had on some guests earlier today who were talking about tech overall and just still seeing upside potential going forward. So that would be good news for not only Palantir, but also AMD, which you're covering here today with an AI acquisition and a real winner. I see one year it's up 86 percent. AMD has been an incredible performer. But what's the news today? Yeah, AMD is stepping up its AI game. It has to keep pace with NVIDIA, which AMD is, you said, up 88 percent over the past one year. It's up about 68 percent year to date, which really pales in comparison to uh, NVIDIA's 200 plus percent gain, but announced it, it's acquiring open source AI software company Nod AI for an undisclosed amount, but the acquisition will help expand its AI software capabilities. AMD expects that the acquisition will bring an experienced team that has developed an industry leading software technology that accelerates the deployment of AI solutions optimized for AMD Instinct Data Center Accelerators. So Nod AI delivers these optimized AI solutions to top hyperscalers, enterprises, and, and startups. And uh, its technologies are all, already widely deployed in the cloud. Uh, the company said at the edge and across a broad range of endpoint devices today. So it's giving AMD shares a boost today. They're up about 2%. Um, and uh, as I said, up about almost 70% year to date. But some may say, if you've seen some of these other AI plays, there could be more room to run. So let's right. see what uh, what they're saying about AMD. Without a doubt, we have not seen AI realized in any way, shape, or form. All the guests who come on, they're if they're not picking NVIDIA, because NVIDIA, to your point, um, up 200%, but that there are so many other ways to play it. But it's interesting because, you know, I was looking at the, the analyst breakdown for NVIDIA versus AMD, and NVIDIA has 51 buy ratings, two hold ratings, and zero sells. Um, and then for AMD, there are a few more in the hold camp, 34 buys, 12 holds, one sell. So given the fact that NVIDIA has run so far so fast, right. the fact that majority of analysts still very much in the buy camp and, you know, still pretty bullish on AMD as well. I mean, median price target of 140. So that's right. what, call it $30 higher than where it's currently trading. All right. And we're going to talk more about this later, too, in the show. And, uh, you know, Microsoft and its AI exposure and really um, Morgan Stanley saying that it's been a positive in building investor confidence in that name. So we'll talk about that. Caroline Woods, thank you.